Assalamu alaikum everyone. So last time we were making this um, um, scatter plot and now we want to make some further analysis on this one. For example, I am seeing a trend, a general trend in this figure. So what I will do is I will make a go in the analysis and I will go for the fitting. I want to fit this at first as a linear fit even if it is on a logarithmic scale. I just want to see how it looks like. So the linear fit in this one will just give the apparent linear fit of the data uh, on whatever scale you are at. So um, we have this input data from the plot. Um, for the fit control, you can go for the instrumental. It is for now um, not given. Um, we can change that later. For the quantities that you want to see after the uh, fitting statistics, for example, I want to see how good is the fit from the reduced chi-square value. So I am going for that one. Um, for the fit summary, for example, you have a lot of other quantities, for example, the standard error, R square uh, from the COD. The lack of fit test, you can actually go for the covariance and correlation matrices, and you can go for the outliers from here. So I am interested in both of these. So I click them, and I can actually go for the residual analysis for the regular residuals. Uh, any standardized ones or any studentized ones, whichever is your preference or requ your requirements of the statistics. Um, from the graphs, you can actually sub um, select which graphs, which actual um, reports you can you want from the output. And then for the fitted curves plots, basically we are plotting here a fit curve. Um, the confidence level for us is 95%. This level um, and then these are the other options find X from Y or Y from X and then the residual plots whichever you want to see and then I press OK and it gives me the report the whole report so I go to the report yes so here is the whole report now as we have seen this before um, these are the notes that what we have done so we have done this this is the equation Y is equals to A plus BX which is the linear uh, equation for this um, and then uh, this is the input data. This is the mass data. So we did not mask any data. So um, I will uh, let you know how to mask the data if I did not have already. Um, what are the bad data according to the statistics? So these are the ones which have all the y values zero. So these are the bad data which are not included um, in this uh, analysis. Now from the reduced chi-square value, I can see that this is 0.079. Um, the degrees of freedom are 97 out of total 99 uh, points. Um, the other uh, values in the Pearson R, for example, and the R squared, um, if, uh, if you're interested in this. Um, so for this one, uh, obviously, we know the ANOVA uh, tables. So these are the important tables. Um, I also included the outliers uh, analysis, and then we can see that there are some of the rows and um, x data and y data given here um, for the correlation the slope is given minus 0 0.53 which is uh, for the correlation only um, for the main uh, slope obviously because this is a uh, plus bx plot so obviously the intercept is a which is 1.379 uh, and then slope is minus 0 0.188 so this is the same thing given in here and also now you can see that the weight which was instrumental at first now they have not applied any of the weighting and this is actually um, the plot. Now if you want to make the changes into the weighting for example if you want to make any change in the, any of the parameters you can actually go again to this one and check all of the uh, quantities or whatever you want from this. So these, um, you can actually delete this from there because this is already here. And if you are lost at where is the results, you can actually go to the results directly from this to this. For example, if I am on this page and then I can go to the results. So these are the results here. Um, and did you notice the T values and the probabilities of these slopes? So uh, this is the basic linear uh, fit which we can apply to the data plot uh, to our data set. Now the second option will be a little bit more um, complex in which we are going for the non-linear curve fit. For example, this data looks a little bit exponential to me. So I will go um, to open a dialog and I will go for the non-linear fit. 
Now for the nonlinear fit, um, the origin have some basic functions given already here. Um, for example, this is an allometric one. Um, and if you are not sure which ones are they, so you just select one and then you can actually see the formula that which one is this. So this is in general called power lie as well. And you can see the sample curve, how it goes into the data or the residuals uh, which your data has made for the, from this formula. Um, the other function files are given in this. Um, you can actually make your own functions as well, but this is just the introduction. So I'm not going for that. So um, we are actually looking for the kind of, uh, and as if, for example, you have seen this Gaussian already. This is the log normal. Um, the, the Poisson is also there. Um, well, I, I'm actually looking for the um, something which can actually go for that. So maybe I will go for the exponential ones and I will select the first function, which is um, y is equals to a minus b c power x. And I actually um, can make one fit or can, I, and you can see that this already has shown me the sample of that. And I can fit this until it converges. So now you can see that the, how the data is actually looking like this. So this is the kind of uh, nonlinear um, curves fitting which you can actually do to your data. Um, also, for example, if you want to know the chi-square, so this will be given after the messages. So the chi-square, where is the chi-square? Reduce chi-square value. So these are the, um, so I, I don't, I'm not satisfied with the chi-square, so I will go for the other function. So you can actually go for the uh, goodness of it, that how good is your uh, data. For example, I go back to the origin, uh, basic functions, and I select the allometric one this function and then I go for the messages and I fit. So you see that now the data has ignored some of the points from here and there and it just focuses on this one. So um, from the data selection we have seen this is from the graph selected from the graph. Also you can select the weightings from here as well for the variances and other different options. Um, for example if you want to tweak uh, the fitting so you can actually cannot auto parameterize initialization and you can actually give a fixed value for that. If you want to give a fixed value, just click this one and just double click this to just edit this value. So these are the fitting options that you can apply. So for example, if I am happy with the power law, I will apply this again. This gives a, uh, a report to me and then this is the report. So since uh, we know that the power law was the function a times x power b, then we have the value of a and we have the uh, value of b, which is uh, given easily in this one. So this is um, all of this again from the residual plots and everything, all of the analysis regarding from that. Um, what if you want to uh, actually put some uh, data which has errors in it? Um, well, we actually plot some of the data, which uh, usually has some uh, errors associated with this. For this part, we can actually go for some of the data. For example, I have some data which has errors and I can make the plot for that. Um, now, before going for the plot, this is my A and this is my X error, so I will just right click to this one and I will set this as x error. Um, for x I have the same error for the plus and minus values uh, of error so I just select this as one but for this one I have two of them a plus error uh, in the positive direction and the minus error in the negative direction which are two different values so I will select them both as y error. So this is also y error and this is also y error. Now I will select all of them and I will go to the plot and I will select the same scatter plot which we have plotted before. See uh, this is very easy to plot with the errors now. Now you can see but then uh, I think there because of the template we have some problem in uh, recognizing the um, y errors. So I will give this y error which is if you just hover over it it will show that this has um, y error of the E column 
So this was my plus error, I select this plus, and for this one, this was my minus error, so I select this one, only minus, and I apply. So you see that all of the double things are gone. So um, just to be um, clear about this one, some of them has very small errors, so these error, or some of them do not have errors, so these will not show, but the ones which have errors will show in the one. So again, you can um, change the colors and settings of the by double clicking and them and then you can just go for the errors so the error bar has its options too to actually um, use it for the same color or just go for the other colors for example I choose light gray for this so that it changes the color like that um, for example if I want to um, mask some of the points which are actually uh, do not have any error and I don't want to include them in the analysis or some of the point which are not really um, going with the trend so what will I do is I will select this um, point and I can actually go on this mask points on active plot or I can just go on in my columns to select the mask but since I don't know which point is this one I don't have labels on so I will just go for this option and I will say mask plot points on active plot and then I this you see this mask is shown with the cursor so I will just select this one and this one to mask what does it do is it will select some of the points in the plot for example here is the one which we actually masked and here is the one which the second one which we masked now this will not be included in the analysis if I want to now linearly fit this one this will not be included so now I will uh, so basically this is the point for the recalculation of all of the analysis so I selected this plot and I go for the linear fit since we have done the linear fit already I will just go for the one which is last used uh, it says some of the values have zero or missing weight value. So um, we may go to fit control and go for the no weighting and then we can just select. Now you see that it just goes for the trend because it actually because it actually um, ignored these points. So uh, the trend is very uh, clear now for these points. Now um, you can again see the slope of this one uh, which is the positive slope going and then if you want to include these one again so you can just um, either go to the sheet which was you can actually go to source from here and then you can actually select all of this column and say that unmask the whole range so it will unmask the whole range see and then it gives it this lock and this value turns yellow because now you either need to recalculate or make some other changes and then recalculate. Now if we recalculate this one, you see the slope has changed a little bit. So these are the points which are actually very important in this uh, point. So uh, these are some of the values. Um, uh, so for now, uh, I think the scatter plot is done. Uh, you can explore some of the options from here which are actually different types of the scatter plot so you can actually make them as bubbles or the vertical drop ones so you see that there are already x y error ones if you had these you can just select them and then go to the uh, for example this one and then go to the scatter and then you can select the y error one or x y error one both um, bubbles or anything and you can actually plot with the error band as well so um, thank you so much for the today's video and uh, we will be um, doing more of the videos on the origin series very soon. Thank you.